Good Saturday morning, Looney Tunes fans. It is I, Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic, in here with you again. And, uh, you know, we've come a long way. We've been doing these commentaries for a while, but uh, there's nothing better. Nothing beats sitting and watching your favorite cartoons with your closest friends. And somebody who's been doing it with me since the very beginning is here once again. And uh, you can see him in the, uh, the or hear him on uh, his many uh, wonderful podcasts like the Table Reads Podcast at TableReadsPodcast.com or most recently, and, and I should I dare say most more successfully, uh, is the wonderful Stargirl After Show. And uh, is it is it an official is it official podcast yet, Sean? No, it is not official, but uh, we've got, you know, interviews with the cast and crew and the showrunner so yeah it may as well be too official that there's that is out there yes so welcome welcome back sean once again also people who watch my videos a lot know you as if if nothing else my video wrangler so um and i i think uh you're you're definitely responsible for this copy if not uh so i should say that what when i mentioned this copy uh real quick i love that shot <laughs> it's such a great drawing I, yeah, Chuck, this is one of many styles that Chuck did where he was experimenting and trying something different before he settled into that weird style in the 70s and then just, ugh. but he he experimented a lot. Anyway, but yeah, the color, Peter Lorre is like yellow, like Simpsons yellow in this, and I don't know that he actually was. I think it was more of a cream colored, uh, but my my gripe with the, uh, the color will be apparent later on. Um, so you picked this cartoon, Sean. I did. It's always been one of my favorites. I mean, just look at that Groucho walk. <laughs> Peter Lorre and Bugs doing a Groucho walk. Very timely. I think this is probably Chuck's art style at its very best. Yeah. Um, like, I love the, the angular uh, ears you know going what, that's... on and just... That's ben, so great. That's Ben Washam. Um, that's a way you can identify his animation in a lot of Chuck's. Most of Chuck's animation, even into the 70s, is his, his ears, his bug's ears were very pointy. Like, they're not very pointy in this shot, and it's not Ben Washam. And don't think it hasn't been a little slice of heaven. Because it hasn't. Because it hasn't. <laughs> I love that line. Okay. Here he is. Here's Gossamer, and he's orange. He's actually his right color. This is not the version, the Blu-ray version that that appears in the the platinum Blu-ray, um, because they've they've changed the colors so much that Gossamer's bright red, and there's also when uh, we we see Bugs has that you know what's up Doc line, and he has his carrot. In the Blu-ray, it's so oversaturated that there's like little yellow diamondy like it looks like bling it looks like a, a carrot with bling it's like bright or bright bright orange with little little diamonds encrusted over it it's can weird. we talk about the dynamics of this pose right here like, yeah you can really feel the weight he's putting against that door absolutely I, I feel like you're missing that a lot lately in cartoons yeah, and I, I would also say in in the new Gossamer Looney Tunes cartoon, there's definitely not that level of uh, weight in the character, for sure. Let, let's talk about his kicks, because in that new cartoon, I was like sort of thinking to myself, man, I'm glad they didn't update the shoes. They, uh, they're they sort of iconic, but they do look very dated. And right as I thought that, Bugs was like, hey, your shoes are very outdated. Yeah, I, that was funny. It was. I, and again, like the, I, we shouldn't really get into it, but the fault of, of some of these new cartoons versus the old stuff is just in the, isn't in the content. There's a lot of funny stuff and then ideas being done. Oh, here's the, <laughs> the original, um, you know, Faye Barber, you know, s salon character where he does, he does this in, in I think, uh, one other, if not more, uh, Gossamer cartoons. And it led to uh, the song, Monsters Lead Such Interesting Lives. My, I'll bet you monsters lead interesting lives. I said to my girlfriend just the other day, gee, I'll bet monsters are interesting. And I don't know, the, the dainty posing on the hands <laughs> is just so fantastic. By the way, I, I didn't notice this for years, but <laughs> he actually does clean his nails. Because after this, you don't see the dirt in his nails anymore. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, you'll see it. Right there. And then, like, it's, later on, you don't see any more dirt. They don't. 
Is it like that for the rest of the cartoon? That's my memory, although we'll we'll certainly keep keep tabs, but my memory is that he actually did keep them clean. This is again Ben Washam. Well, there's no fingernails there. <laughs> Yeah, see? They're clean. Nice. So, we're doing this over Skype because of coronavirus and we're social distancing. So, I have to say, basically what I'm seeing because of the internet connection here yeah. are are the key drawings. Yeah. And does it play any worse or any better? Well, I mean, you're you are missing like some some of the great stuff, but it, it, you are it's, missing. it's actually adding a, a new dimension to it for me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a full on Groucho. There you go. Yep. I love that draw. <laughs> <laughs> it's always funny. Do you remember watching this when we were, we were kids like together? I'm sure we did. Oh, of course. Gossamer was one of my favorites. Yeah. And in fact, you were the one that told me how they came up with his name. Was I? Because I don't remember now. It's something about like uh, an assist. One of Chuck. It was in the second book. And one of like Chuck's assistants found that it had actually been written down on one of the model sheets, you know, suggestions for you know, like what he was and the, like what his name could be. One Even though it doesn't make sense at all, because gossamer is an adjective that describes something translucent and hazy like a cobweb. Yeah, the exact opposite of what he is. Again, his nails are clean. <laughs> I love that. that. That's such a... <laughs> like, there's no continuity anywhere else at all. <laughs> yeah, in any cartoons, really. Right. And so, having re re Also... I love the end line. Hero. Yeah, and it's certainly a... Mechanical. Yeah. Well, so it's mechanical! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Sean, thanks for sitting in with us as always, man. Of course.